Good day everyone! Again, this is Teacher Alvin, your Telerific Teacher. Welcome to my channel. Today, we will discuss about fish racing in our country. Get your pen and your notebook and try to take down notes all the important details about fish racing in our country. Let's go! Last time, we will discuss about cattle racing and of course, goat racing. Beef is what we call for cow's meat and chivon for goat meat. Fish racing. Fish farming as a means of livelihood is similar to animal farming in many ways. Fish meat like animal meat is rich in protein and is a healthier alternative. Since the Philippines is a country surrounded with bodies of water, many farmers or farming families choose aquaculture over raising animals on land. Tilapia, milkfish, and catfish are suggested fish species that can be used in fish farming because they grow in large amounts and can be more profitable. These species are also more resistant to pests and diseases. With the ability to spawn and adapt to captivity, high compatibility with other species and tolerant to environment changes. Fish Raising Routine Fish culture pans or pens, source of income, personal consumption, good source of livelihood. Fish cultivation, growing business, fresh water, rivers, lakes, dams. For today's objectives, plan for the family fish raising. Implementing the plan for the project. Kinds of fish found in artificial waters. First, we have tilapia. Tilapia grows quiet rapidly. It can reproduce all year round and requires no special kind of feeds. Tilapia can be harvested after 3 to 4 months of feeding. Next, we have the milkfish or bangus, also referred to as the national fish of the Philippines. Milkfish or bangus is very popular for its milky taste. Like the tilapia, milkfish requires no special kind of feed for its diet. Milkfish can be harvested after 7 to 10 months of feeding. Next, of course, we have a catfish. Catfish are named for their prominent barbels which resemble a cat's whiskers. This fish has become a staple food for many Filipinos especially in the Tagalog region. Catfish can be harvested between 4 to 6 months of feeding. Lastly, we have a carp. Carp are hardy fish. They adapt to poorly oxygenated, slow-moving, shallow bodies of water. They do not reproduce as quickly as tilapia. So during harvest time, a fish farmer is guaranteed a large size of fish. Fish can be grown commercially in land using fish pens and tanks or enclosures. Fish can also be grown in bodies of water using nets as fish cages. Methods in fish cultivation We have the fish pen method. Inland water, in lakes or lagoons. Next, fish pan method. Fresh, brackish, or marine water. Natural food is grown. Next, we have the open water method. This method done in based coastal lagoons. It cultivates oysters, mussels, seaweeds, and others. Common methods in catching fish. Using hooks. Using a fine net. Trawl fishing in water 13 meters or less deep. Building fish corals close to one another. Source of fingerlings and fry. Fingerlings. Young fish can be raised in fresh water, free from predator type of fishes and insects. Let's remember, animal and fish raising are both important to us because they give us many benefits such as health to increase production of food, provide high quality animal protein for human consumption, create employment, reduce the importation of fish and meat, and help bring down or maintain the price of meat products. Other animal and fish products are commonly used and consumed. What's in? List down example of animals and fish raising for livelihood. Thank you very much for watching my video. Hope that my video give you a lot of information on how to raise fish in our country. Again, this is Teacher Alvin, your Tell Erific 
teacher. Nice. Shout out time. <laughs>